Lindsay Lowe murdered her newborn twins. A jury sentenced her to life, but now she wants a new trial. Lowe's attorneys today made their case before the Tennessee Court of Appeals. News Channel 5's Nick Barris was in the courtroom and heard the arguments from both sides in this emotionally charged, high-profile case. Lindsay Lowe herself was not in the courtroom. She remains in prison serving life, but her lawyer says she deserves a new trial. It took a jury only two hours to find Lowe guilty of murdering her twins two years ago. Hendersonville police in 2011 discovered the unspeakable crime. After I uh, pulled the bloody towel back, I saw a deceased newborn. Later, Lowe gave a statement to police, a confession of sorts. She revealed the twins were secretly born in the toilet before she killed them. How long would you say you did that for? Till it stopped crying? It all led to a conviction, but Lowe's attorney David Rabin says the jury got it wrong. They didn't get to hear all the facts. It's just that simple. Rabin cites three main points. First, there was too much pretrial publicity, and the judge was biased, requiring a change of venue. Second, the judge did not allow testimony from a key witness on Lowe's state of mind. And third, that Lowe was taken into custody and not properly read her rights. That's a biggie, if true. We assert that her statement was completely inadmissible. Prosecutors disagree, saying the judge ruled properly and Lowe received a fair trial. Well, I do not think uh, there's going to be a new trial. I certainly hope not. Just last month, Jeremy Smith, the father of the twins, made it clear how he feels. She should have to be behind bars for the rest of her life and suffer just like she made those kids suffer. Strong words regarding an emotional case. The appellate court heard from both sides a decision on the request for a new trial is expected perhaps sometime later this year. Nick Barris, News Channel 5 HD. Lindsay Lowe's murder convictions carry automatic life sentences, but under state guidelines, she will be eligible for parole in the year 2064 when she'll be 77 years old.